Hey you guys, so it's Gigi and I did a video called a what's in my makeup bag video and in my video um, I pulled out a numerous numbers of Avon products. So one of my subscribers, MA2213I, I believe that could be an I or it could be an L. You know what, I'm going to say it's an L. MA22I3L. She requested me to do a hit or miss with my Avon products. So first, let me do a couple of disclaimers. Number one, I don't get paid to advertise for Avon. Number two, um, the reason why I buy so many Avon products is because my Nana sells it and I like to try and support her. And number three, I have been buying Avon products for a few years now. So I pretty much know what I like and what I don't like. So a lot of my products are nine times out of ten going to be mostly um, hits. Okay, so let's get right into it. Probably my most favorite Avon product of all time is their Hoku Sunset, which is also in my um, makeup bag. And I love this. It smells so good. Oh my god. It just... I. It just has this scent that reminds me of, of being someplace tropical. Reminds me of like being in Puerto Rico. Don't ask me why it reminds me of being in Puerto Rico. But it reminds me of being in Puerto Rico. And I love the scent. So this is actually the sequel to the original, which is Hoku. Now, Hoku Sunset has a blue cap. And Hoku has this um, mint green kind of cap. And Hoku has more of a fresh just out of the shower scent like it's uh, it's flirty and it's fresh it just smells really fresh this one reminds me of being on the beaches of puerto rico i absolutely love it now the thing that i love about hoku i think they run for like ten dollars don't quote me but i think they run for like ten dollars individually but avon does do things where you can get a huge set for like 25 dollars and you'll get like two perfumes You'll get two skin softeners, which is this. It's um, skin softening body cream. There we go. Absolutely love this. I like to use this on my feet and then put a sock on after I get out of the shower. Um, you get two glitter kind of powder, powder glittered baby powder-esque kind of a deal. Love this. And then you get uh, a tube of body lotion, but I don't have the body lotion anymore because I used it all. So um, the formulas on these products are great. They're amazing. I love them. They are my absolute favorite products clearly because I keep it in my bag. I use the lotion every day, um, especially for my feet. It keeps my feet really soft. But again, I put it on with a sock following it. So that way the moisture locks into my feet. So that's one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites, but I don't have any more. I'm going to have to order it is, my, <clears throat> excuse me, is Viva because celebrities actually are under um, Avon. They have quite a few celebrities and Viva is by Fergie, Stacey Ferguson. Woo! And that perfume smells so good. Oh my God. It smells really, really great. Oh, it's amazing. Um, try and get samples if you can. They smell so good. And, um, typically on the holidays, they do kind of like toiletry kind of like perfumes and stuff. So this holiday season, I just got this one and I got it because I love how it comes in like this star shape and it's called soft musk now when you get an Avon book you can typically smell them they have like a scratch and sniff kind of a deal and this smells really good it's one of those ones where you have to like put your finger and dip it like like back in the day but um it smells good. It smells really mature, though. So this isn't a scent that I would recommend for, like, a teenager. Um, the Hoku's are good for teenagers, and but this one is a little bit more mature. So this is something that I only wear, like, pretty much during the holiday because it has a holiday kind of, like, esque vibe to it. So boom. So the next thing that I have by Avon is their 
Extra Lasting Eyeliner. And it's a liquid eyeliner. Now, the thing that I love about this eyeliner is its applicator pencil. I love that. And the thing about me and eyeliner is that I feel like this rubs off on me. I feel like it does. Originally, when I first tried it, I loved it. And I ordered like a hundred of them. Which now I regret because I'm not a huge fan of it. I've stopped using it. Um, but I'm noticing that just eyeliners, I have a problem keeping eyeliner on my eye in general. But this one, I feel like the formula is way too watery. And um, that's why I don't particularly like this one. So for this one, I would have to say it's a miss for me personally. So let's kind of recap because I realized I didn't say hit or miss. So for the Hoku products, it's a huge um, hit for me. For the um, Viva by Fergie, that's a hit. For this holiday special one, um, I I don't know. For the price, it's a hit because I think I paid like $3 for this. So um, considering it was $3, I'll call it a hit. The extra long lasting um, liquid eyeliner for me is a personal mist and it goes into my drunk drawers of makeup never to be seen again. It's going in there right now. Okay. Next thing. Um, Avon has, like, these little lip glosses. I don't even know what they would be classified under. They're, like, lip balms. But this one's my favorite. Um, it's clearly from Halloween. Sometimes the lip glosses are themed under different holidays. But this one, it stains my lip with, like, a hint of red, which is why I love it. So it's moisturizing and it tints my lip. This is an absolute hit for me. I love their little lip glosses like this. They keep your lips moisturized. Not all of them have color. This one for sure has color. Um, and it's called Fall Splendor Love Balm. Lip Balm, sorry. This is an absolute hit for me. Love, love, love this. Um, it's amazing. Next thing I want to talk about. Avon has this called Moisturize Effect Eye Makeup Removal Lotion. This is a huge hit for me. It is. Um, it removes your makeup really easy. And you know what I think it is? Honestly, I equate it to the Melt Away Lotion by Urban Decay. I feel like it works just about the same way. Um, the formula is different. I think the Urban Decay formula... Um, it's a little bit more speedy because, like, it really does just melt everything off when you just put it on. Whereas with this one, it just wipes off really smoothly. But, like, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative for the Urban Decay Melt Away, I would definitely go with the Avon, um, Moisture Removal. And my mom has, my mom buys these by, like, bulks. Like, when my mom orders these, she orders, like, ten at a time. And so she, like, gives them to me. So I really don't know how much they are. I'm sorry about that. But um, I'll put a link down below to my grandmother's Avon website where you can, like, check all this stuff out and it gives you prices and and things like that. So um, this is a huge hit for me. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about. The Avon Nail Polish. Now, I own... Last year, I did a, a haul on this, actually. So you can check it out right there. Click right there and you can see my Avon haul. Um... I brought these, and they have so many different colors. I brought all the possible spring colors. For spring and summer of last year, I had them on my toes. My toes looked amazing. I love them. They're bright. They're vivid. But the con is that it is so freaking hard to get this off your nails. Like, it takes forever. It takes, like, like, 15 minutes per finger and toe to get this crap off. So, for me, I'm going to have to say it's a miss only because I don't like nail polish that takes so long for me to take off. The colors vibrate. It's great while it's on. It's incredibly long-lasting. It's damn near permanent. But the fact that it takes so long for me to take this off is so annoying. So, I mean, I have all these colors. And I put them on typically during the summer. Or I'll use them if I know I have no intention of, like, not taking it off anytime soon. Which would then, again, typically be summer. Um, and then I like to wear the orange one for October and November. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, 
you'll see pictures of how I did my nails for October and for November. Um, so yeah, this would have to be a miss for me, honestly, just because I don't like how aggravatingly hard it is to take this off. Um, the next thing that I have by Avon is the Avon Glow, and this is a bronzer, but it's a beaded bronzer, and I'm going to try and show you without taking all the, without the beads, like, falling out. See? This is a beaded bronzer, and I'm obsessed with this. I am truly obsessed with this. This, before, I just recently got, and when I say recently, I mean as in last Friday, I just recently got into wearing foundation, but before... And if you look at some of my other videos, I would use this as my all-over foundation because it matches my skin color perfectly. Um, this is a bronze B202, and it just matches my skin perfectly. I love it. I just love how it gives my face this. Um, it doesn't really give me, it gives me a hint of a glow. It gives my face a shimmer, but because it matches my skin so perfectly, it doesn't really highlight my face. It just gives my face some shimmer. So I love this. This is an absolute hit. For me now when I do want to add some actual bronze to my skin I have this Avon um, bronzer palette and I'm going to show it to you this isn't beaded this is actually a powder a bronzer palette powder sorry and this is light bronze in PO2 and this gives me an amazing highlighted glow right under my eye because that's where I typically put it I sweep it right under my eye and um this gives me amazing glow. I love this. It makes me look like, whoo, hello. It makes me look like I just came off the beaches of Puerto Rico. And I keep saying Puerto Rico because I love Puerto Rico. See? I love Puerto Rico. <laughs> so, this is definitely a hit. Um, Let's see, what else? So, my mascara is... If you watched my um, video where I did the Glenda and the Naked Palette 2 tutorials, you'll see that I used Drama along with two other um, mascaras. And the reason why I do that is because I like the effect that it gives. It gives me long, voluptuous eyelashes because my eyelashes really are like... I don't have a lot of hair on my body. I really don't. I don't have any hair on my legs. I don't have any hair on my arms. And the hair that are on my legs and arms are so minimal. Like, I wear shorts and skirts and dresses, and I've never shaved my legs, and people don't even know that. So, like, um, when it comes to my... So, clearly, my eyelashes are going to be the same exact way, like, really minimal. But um, I love this when I mix it with the three of them. It's just really pretty. But this Shamrock by Avon is actually like all three in a bottle. It really is. Which is why I keep it in my makeup bag to go. And i rather just put all three on in the house and use this as my makeup to go. Because this is like Drama Illegal Lash and Mega Plush, for me anyway, in a bottle. So for this one, I would say it's a complete hit because it's a complete package in one bottle. And this is the Avon Super Shamrock Mascara. But the drama by itself is a miss. The drama is really great when you mix it with other mascaras, but by itself, it's pretty much a miss um, for me. By itself, again, I'm saying by itself, because mixed with my other mascaras, I absolutely love it. So, the next thing. When I got my, my Marbleized bronzer, I also got the matching Glow Lip Gloss. And this is in Sunset. And it's pretty. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. I did a swatch for you guys before. And it comes on clear. I'll just do the swatch again. See? I think if you have, like, I have dark lips, so it comes on pretty clear for me. But if you have, like, a pink lip, it'll probably come on a little bit more peachy. This is a hit for me. The only thing I don't like about it is its smell, because it has, like, that plastic lip gloss smell. I hate that. I like my lip glosses to have a fruity hint to it. The next one are... The next one, I used to have a whole bunch of these. These were, like, long-lasting lip glosses. I don't think Avon sells them anymore. I'm really not sure. Like I said, I'll put the link down below, and you can go to the website. But, um... 
They were like this a long wear, and clearly I use this crap so much that I can't even see the, the title is like smudged off, but they were like long wear lip gloss, and they were like the equivalent to the, um, to the MAC lip gloss in the glass. That's what they pretty much were the equivalent to. That's what they look like. I can't compare it to the MAC lip gloss as far as formula formula and long-lasting wear because the only thing I get from MAC traditionally are their lipsticks. Um, but this I love. It's such a pretty color. I had it in multiple colors. They weren't expensive. So what I did was, and I recommend this for anyone who really wants to experiment with like lip colors, Avon has really inexpensive lip gloss and stain lips, lip gloss like this. And they also have um, pretty inexpensive lipsticks. And you can always catch them on deals where they're like 50% off or buy one, get the other one 50% off or buy five and get it for $10. Like Avon's always having deals like that. It's almost like Kohl's in that sense. So I would highly recommend if you just want to practice what colors are going to look good on you without really like spending so much money, get these. Go to Avon, try those. Um, hmm. Next thing is the a new platinum cleanser. I love this. I absolutely love this. I love um it's it's a good moisturizer. I keep it in my bag. This is clearly a small travel size one. But my absolute favorite is actually my L'Oreal 360 um deep cleanse for sensitive skin one that comes with this little bristle pad that pops out here. This is actually my favorite one um, because I feel like this leaves my skin very moisturized after I use it, even before I put on my um, my moisturizer. And this one I feel kind of dries out my skin a little bit, like it makes my, fin my skin feel pretty dry. Um, so, I mean, it's great for its packaging and the fact that it's travel-wise. Um... I don't know. Since I use it, I'm going to say it is a hit because I do use it. Um, but like, I, but it's just a great alternative to my absolute favorite one, which is the one I just showed you. The last thing that I have from Avon, well, it's not the last thing I have, but it's the last thing I can review, is um, this lipstick. Holy guacamole. I'm in love with this lipstick. This lipstick is so pretty. Um, for a long time, the only colors that I thought looked good on me as far as lipsticks were concerned was red. And this is an ultra rich color. This is an ultra, I believe that's what it's called. Anyway, this red is amazing and it's pretty matte on me. So I like to use my Avon lip gloss, which I showed you, which I also keep in my um, to-go bag. I like to use that. And I do have a makeup palette, a quad makeup palette called Aquatic Goddess by Avon, which I guess I can just show you. I haven't used it yet, so I really didn't want to give a review on it, but I won't. And I won't. I guess I'll just show you what it looks like. So this is the case. I just think that is so pretty, the casing. And it's called Arctic Goddess Quad. True Colors. And it comes with the applicator, which I've already taken out because I take the applicators out of all my palettes. And these are the colors. They're just really, really pretty. And um, all the two top colors, this like seafoam green and this pastel blue are shimmer. And this emerald green and this um, bright blue are um, matte. So I haven't tried them out yet. So I don't know how they're going to work as, you know eyeshadows but the minute I do you know I'll definitely like let you know if it's a hit or miss but I think that the packaging was pretty it was only like $4.99 I think they were like five dollars so I was like why not just let's try it and I thought that the colors were absolutely absolutely gorgeous um but please huge disclaimer anyone that wants to use this 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 color blue is such a street walking color it is like if you see street walkers it's like their favorite color in the world. So whenever you're using blues, please know how to blend them and mix them and put them together. Like, just don't walk out of your house with, like, a line of blue eyeshadow because someone will think that you're, like, a call girl. 
I just had to put that out there. But that's my Avon haul. Um, like I said, I've been using Avon for a while now, so um, I pretty much already know what are hits and misses from years experience past. So I pretty much just try to stick with the hits, which um, would have to be, you know, the lotion remover, the makeup lotion remover, my bronzer. Um, oh, wait, there's one more thing that I forgot. Oh, my God, I can't believe this. This is absolutely my favorite thing in the world. Avon Magic. And what it is, is it's it's a face perfecter, but it's kind of like, you know what you could use this as, honestly? A facial primer. You could really use this as a facial primer because it makes your face matte. It makes your face matte. And it does kind of like get rid of your dark spots. So for a long time, I used to put this on first, and then I would put my Magic bronzer marbles on so my face look matte and perfectly clear um it's really great and if you have oily skin this is amazing now here's the thing this is in white because originally that was the only color that they had and it's like a cream like consistency it's a very creamy consistency um but now they have like a brown kind of one and what it is, it's a creamy consistency, but as you rub it in, it becomes almost like a powder. And it becomes really, really matte. See? And so this would be great to use as a primer for your face. So I have this Makeup Forever um, Facial High Definition Primer. And I have combination skin because I have a T-zone. This would be a great cheaper alternative. And this has SPF 20 in it. And it's called Avon Magic Face Perfector. Ooh, and I, I love this. It's my absolute uh, favorite Avon product. Now, this video has gone on long enough. But um, I hope that this helped you. This is an absolute must-have, an absolute hit. And um, let me know, because I was really thinking about doing a comparison video of higher-end products and what their, like, lower-end products equivalent would be. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. If you guys want to see what's in my makeup collection, let me know. Just let me know what you want to see, and I'm 100% willing to do it. Sorry this video was long. Um, I just have a lot of Avon products, and I try to go over it as quickly as possible. So don't forget, rate, comment, subscribe, and share, because sharing is caring. And as always, stalk me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll be putting a link down below to my grandmother's Avon site. If there's anything in this uh, review, hit and miss video that you saw that you liked, and thank you once again, MA22I3L, for requesting me to do this. So have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!